Hi, my name is Tom. I'm the person that made the simple mugs in the previous video. In that video, I introduced the Follow Me tool. The tool allows you to extrude a surface or have a surface follow a path or edge. With that, we made a simple handle for the mug and went on our way. In this video, I will demonstrate other techniques with the Follow Me tool, so this is like a follow-up for the Follow Me tool. This technique is kind of similar to a pottery wheel. So to begin, we need a circle on the ground to serve as the wheel. Next, we want to create a surface shape that follows and revolves on the circle. With this surface shape, imagine it being a flat 2D side drawing of what you eventually want it to be, but in half. So for example, I want to make a sphere. What I will actually make is a half circle, so an arc tool will do. Then I will need to close the shape to generate that surface for the half circle. Note that how the surface is being positioned on the wheel. The side where the surface is cut off in half should be positioned so that its flat edge is directly centered and perpendicular to the circle. All I need is the follow me tool. With it, I need to click once on the surface of the shape and carefully follow the edge around that circle. Click it again to set it and that's my sphere. Using this technique, you can create any shapes to generate quick models from it. With that in mind, let's try to make something simple. A teapot should be easy enough to create using this technique. To start, I will need a circle as my base. The size of the circle doesn't matter too much, but I suggest keeping it the similar size of the object that you want it to be. Also, I am working from the center of the axis because it provides a quicker glance to see if you are snapping it to the correct axis. Continuing on, I will start to make my shape of the pot with the lines and arc tools. I am imagining what the pot would look like if I have drawn it on a flat piece of paper. As I finish the outer shape, I come back to the middle, then I close off the shape to generate that surface. After creating the pot, I inspect the pot for anything weird that stands out. While doing so, I notice two things. The surface of the outside is blue, and the bottom of the pot is missing. To fix this, first I can select the entire pot, right click to bring up the extra menu, and select reverse face. That should fix the blue surface. To fix the bottom of the pot, I can easily replace the bottom with the line tool. With the line tool, I can click on any point on where the edge is and click on another point next to that first point. That should close the entire bottom. Now that the pot is done, I will start on the lid. Rather than just pulling it off from the top with the push and pull tool, I want to use the same technique to create the lid. For this lid, I want to keep the same size at the top of the pot so it looks like it will fit. To do so, I will need to reference the top edge. First, I will make the pot into its own group so I won't affect it as much as I'm using the line tool over top of it. Next, I will take the line tool and then begin to trace the top edge of that pot. I can hover my cursor over the edge until it snaps to a point, start off my line there and continue to click on the next point as I make my way around. As I make my way around, I sometimes lose myself on where I began because I am tracing directly on top of the edge that is in the way. As I'm tracing the edge, if the shape of that I'm drawing does not close, the line tool will stay active. As I make a click with the line tool, it generates a dotted line that represents the next line. If I don't immediately close the shape, that dotted line will always be there. So I can wiggle my cursor around to see if it's being followed by a dotted line. Since the pot is its own group, the shape that I drew should move with the pot. So as I move the pot down, I can see the shape that I traced. So now that I have the top shape, I can continue to make the lid the same way I did with the pot. So I was making the shape for my lid, I noticed the shape was off-centered by a bit. I usually like to keep the shape in the center of the circle base so that it revolves properly and doesn't create any problems later on. After that's all aligned, I just need to finish up with the follow me tool, select the surface, and trace the edge of that circle. After I closed off the shape to get my lid, I noticed that my lid was segmented vertically. This is because I used a line tool to create a circle, rather than using a circle to create a circle. So technically, I made a 24 sided polygon. Now that the lid is completed, I can make the handle and spout using the same technique that I used to make the handle for the mug. I just need the path for my handle, my spout, and the surface that would extrude and follow along those paths. So after the adjustment, 
I can check everything out to see if everything is in order, and I can group all the models into one group. And there's my teapot. And that concludes this video, and I'll see you next time.